Good morning. I'm Storm Team 4 meteorologist and science teacher Ryan Miller. I've got your Science for Everyone segment, and I did a little science yesterday in my front yard and my neighbor's yard. I set up just a timer here. You can see a stopwatch, and as I got that going, what I ended up doing was taking a plastic container of water, pouring it onto and putting it right onto the lawn, and you can watch that water drain rapidly through the glass or through the plastic and into the grass and then into the soil. That is one thing I did. I also went to my yard, which looks a lot different and it has not been watered. And I did the same thing where I put that container upside down rapidly, let the water start to drain. But notice a couple of things. The water that drained through that soil, that soil that was wet and the grass that has been growing went rapidly through that material, whereas the grass that actually was dead, my yard, actually took quite a bit of time. Now, you purists out there, just in case you wanted to challenge me, I rapidly flipped both containers over so that the water would start to drain through the soil. I took a shot here, a screenshot of both of these animations just to show you, but I wanted to prove a couple of things. Number one, the water that drained through the grass that was dead actually took quite a bit of time and it took so much time that my phone actually turned off and it took over seven minutes for the water to drain through the soil that was exceptionally dry and the dead grass. There's a reason for this and let's get into it and this is one of the reasons why it's so difficult difficult for an ecosystem or a yard or a garden to recover during drought conditions. There's a waxy coating on a lot of turf grass plants. Tall fescue, which is behind me, is one of them. That waxy substance is called a cuticle. And when the grass breaks down and dies during drought conditions, the substances that make up that cuticle, those waxy substances will break off of the organic matter, off of the plants, and it'll start to cover up the soil. Well, wax is hydrophobic meaning it doesn't like water and water is repelled from it here so as it coats soil it takes longer for water to get through the soil when it's very dry because of that waxy coating. The bottom line is this when you're trying to recover your yard or your garden or anything from a drought it's going to take slow amounts of water first to break down and wash off and clear out some of that waxy substance so that water can start to infiltrate the soil get down to the roots and get things growing so you'll notice a big time difference once that rain starts to moisten the soil you'll get more infiltration and a much healthier looking garden and lawn and that's just a couple of things to consider. I'm meteorologist and science teacher Ryan Miller.